Now we're going to stay on the topic of uh, nuclear energy and it is and was part of the Moon administration's policy goals to get South Korea completely nuclear energy free. With the government setting up a committee tasked to carry out that policy goal, as we've been hearing, it's uh, still not really going to be easy for a country uh, that has been using this uh, cheap energy source for so long and uh, relied on it as well for a long time to roll that back. So our Kim Jian tells us more on its potential impact on the local economy. Nuclear energy was vital for Korea, generating 30% of the country's total power supply, the second highest after coal-fired power plants. Korea has become a powerhouse of nuclear technology, building its first homegrown plant in 1995, as well as its export of four reactors to the UAE in a landmark 2009 deal. By 2010, Korea was the world's top five exporter of nuclear energy technology, following the U.S., Canada, France and Russia. Korea's nuclear energy industry is estimated to have grown 8.5 percent annually to record combined sales close to 23.6 billion U.S. dollars in 2015, while generating more than 35,000 jobs. But with Korea's appetite for nuclear energy now on the wane, state funding for R&D along with thousands of jobs in the sector are now at risk. Korea's steel industry, vital to the country's exports, already spending a billion dollars in electricity and may suffer the heaviest blow as their plant operations are very power demanding. Not to mention it takes a couple of decades as well as hundreds of thousands of people a year to dismantle a single reactor. It takes around five years to cool down the fuel rods that have been burning non-stop for half a century. After the temperature's gone down, the reactor is ready to be cut apart with lasers, which requires sophisticated technology. During this process, some parts can be recycled while others are discarded. It's similar to dismantling a subway station only with huge amounts of radiation. So remotely controlled robots are needed, which presents difficult technical challenges. The expert says Korea could experience a brain drain of experts involved in the construction of reactors since the country no longer needs their expertise. Kim Tian, Arirang News.